Hello, welcome to Stephen Coding Academy. This time I want to go into our CSS introduction. We are through with HTML as a prerequisite to CSS. If you're not uh, down to HTML, please kindly go back to my link and see my HTML courses. Try as much as you can to read, study, and practice them so I can to know everything about HTML, at least something good about HTML. Given that you've done your HTML, now let's proceed to CSS. And we are going to use our test edit as usual, it's going to be VS Code. Remember, that's why we have started with HTML. We use VS Code all through. And for those who doesn't have a laptop, I've told you you can actually use your phone to browse. So you can actually use your phone to learn coding. If you have missed my lecture on how you can use your phone to learn coding, kindly go back to it and watch it again and try to practice it. Or remember, uh, it's about coding, it's about programming, it's all about practice. Not like a, a movie where you just watch and you to just think like that. No. You watch, you practice, you watch, you practice. So without wasting time today, what is uh, CSS? CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. In other words, it's used to style elements or style any markup languages. So CSS is a style sheet that is used to describe the look and feel of your website or any document. But remember, the document has to be written in a markup language. Let's come down to our own layman way, because that is the traditional definition of CSS. So in our layman way, CSS simply put means how to colorize your HTML. How you can add color to your HTML. CSS allow you to completely control the appearance of your website, your pay website page, without changing the foundation of your HTML. People can see also, this website is very good. Look at this, this Nike, for instance. You see the different colors here. Oh, they are like this color, like this color. It's because of CSS, okay? So CSS allow you to completely control the appearance of your what? Of your HTML. Let me give you one analogy to understand what CSS is all about. Consider building a house with a fence around it. However, because the fence is unpainted, maybe you didn't paint the fence, and also maybe that fence that was unpainted is so HTML, as well as any other unpainted building block in your house. If you didn't paint any part, that is HTML for you. Now, for your house to look great, for your house to look good, you must paint your house. You must paint the blocks in your house. You must paint your fence. So adding color or so that people can love and appreciate your building is what CSS is all about. So as a result, paint will be the CSS in this analogy. It provides you with beauty. When people say, they say, wow, this house is beautiful. This house is okay. Why? Because of the paint. So having said that, you can apply or reference our CSS in three ways. In other words, you have three methods of writing or using our CSS on HTML. One is inline method, CSS inline method. In inline method, right then your HTML page, you type your CSS at each of the page. For example, at the opening or the opening tag, if it's H1, for instance, <laughs> let me just give you an example. Watch as I give you this example. Let's say it's H1 that you want to you want to type. Remember H1 is setting. So this H1, what you do is simply put your less than, you type your H1, then you space. What do you do? Next one is you type style. This style here is the CSS there. Style. Then once you add your style, <coughs> remember you have to put the equal source and the rest of them. So here, this is the CSS on it. Okay. Then when you type all the CSS elements, you close it back. Then once you close it back, let's say with the heading as this heading one or heading whatever, but then you do it, everything will show up. I do get the sense of it. Don't worry, we'll soon go into theory and you get it. But just try to understand what I'm trying to say here that in line CSS, right in that same line, you add your color, you add your CSS. So that much I do. If you believe in you understand this, let's go to my next slide. Let's go to the theory part of it, the uh, uh, practical side of it, so we learn. You know, I don't believe so much in theory. I so much believe in practical. But if you want to learn in theory more about this, kindly go to my website, www.seven.com. Right there, click on blog. It will take you to my blog. I have a lot of posting on blogs, talking about cryptocurrency and the rest of them to, to data marketing, to programming. But right there in programming, you see CSS. Click on it and you learn everything theory about CSS. Or you can simply go to my blog directly, www.seven.com slash news. Right there, you take you straight to my blog and you also read it up about theory. So thank you so much for listening to this introduction. Let me see you in the next class where we'll start the work proper. I'll take the theoretical aspect of it. See you in the next class.